Today, let's talk lifting. In watercolor painting, the term lifting means to erase or remove watercolor paint from the surface of the painting. There are all kinds of reasons why you might use this technique. Maybe you need to remove some color to restore a highlight, or you need to change the color in just one area of the painting, or maybe you just made a mistake and accidentally covered something you didn't mean to. In this video, I'll show you four different tools you can use to lift watercolor paint and restore the white of your paper. The first tool I always have on hand no matter what, and that is paper towel. In this little sky study, I start with a blue sky, and while the paint is still damp, I actually use a small piece of slightly dampened paper towel to gently blot out the shape of clouds, removing the blue paint back out and creating the effect of super soft white clouds. Because paint is transferred to your paper towel, make sure to check that you're only using clean sections of it before you continue to blot and lift so that you don't accidentally transfer paint back onto the paper. Q-tips. Now Q-tips are great little tools for lifting paint in tiny isolated areas. For this dandelion painting, I started with a green background, then carefully painted the green stem and light gray seeds that are still attached to the flower. Then, to create the effect of soft, fuzzy seeds floating away, I took one of my clean cotton Q-tips, moistened it with a little bit of water, and then gently wetted a few spots of the green where I wanted to lift paint. It's helpful to let the water sit on the surface of the paper for just a few seconds so that it has time to soak in and reactivate the paint before you try lifting. Then I gently scrubbed out the paint using a tiny circular motion with the Q-tip, creating perfect, fuzzy white spots. I also use the Q-tip to scrub and remove some paint around the outer edges of the flower just to help it appear softer. Just like with the paper towel, make sure you're twisting the Q-tip around so that you only use clean areas to remove paint. My third tool of choice for lifting paint is thirsty brushes. Now brushes are the tools I probably use the most often for lifting paint. Stiff bristled brushes tend to work the best and you might want to use brushes that are cheaper or a little bit more worn out since this can be rather hard on them. For this painting, I use a half inch flat brush to lift the highlight back out of the dog's nose. Start by dipping your brush in water, removing any excess water, and then firmly scrub the brush across the area where you want to lift paint. Activating the area ahead of time by applying a little water definitely makes it easier. Try to maintain a good sense of how your paint and paper are responding. Work slowly and gently. If your paper begins to pill and tear, you are probably scrubbing way too hard. The fourth tool I'm gonna to show you guys is sponges. You can purchase hobby sponges at just about any arts and crafts store. I really like these wedge sponges because they're made just for lifting watercolor and they have a nice straight edge. I use these sponges to create the effect of sunbeams coming through a dark forest. This messy little study just gives you an idea of what is possible. Keep in mind that if you want to try lifting techniques with watercolor, it's essential to use high quality cotton watercolor paper. Cheaper papers just will not withstand lifting and scrubbing as well as the tough fibers will in a cotton paper. These four easy little studies, by the way, are available through my Watercolor Mastery membership as a fully narrated real-time beginner tutorial. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description below. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're new here and check out these other videos all about watercolor painting. See you there.